Hi, Chuck here again. Wanted to give a quick video on how to change the leads or the, um, the plugs on a battery to um, XT60 or whatever standard connector that you're using. I got these um, 1500 milliamp batteries and they came with the Dean's connector. And I previously used Dean's connectors on my 3S batteries, but on these 4S um, I've decided to go to an XT60. Um, I got a great deal on these batteries, um, so I just decided that I would um, just swap the, the connector ends um, on these, but um, I'll just give a quick tutorial on this, but uh, one thing you want to do is uh, make sure that you don't have both wires disconnected at the same time or desoldered. Um, if you get a short, um, you'll have a spark, uh, possibly a fire or cause some damage to your battery. So uh, be forewarned, uh, don't do that. So working with one connector at a time, uh, what I did is I used a um, X-Acto knife to uh, cut the uh, shrink wrap off of one side. And I always start with the positive. And um, what you wanna do is you wanna like make like a little bit of a jig. Uh, so I took a, um, a male XT60 plug and just wrap the ends. Make sure you insulate the ends because if the ends are exposed and they touch, you'll have a spark again. So um, what you want to do is use this as a heat sink. So take the um, new plug that you're going to use, plug it into your heat sink. And I always use these helping hands um, soldering, um, soldering rig or whatever. I don't know what you call it. Just helping hands, I call it. And I'll just go ahead and uh, tin the um, the ends before we get started here. So um, you want to make sure you have a, a hot soldering iron. Clean off the tip. Get rid of get rid of that. Um, I don't know what they call it. Oxid oxidized slag or whatever. But um, go ahead and just put a little bit of solder on uh, both both terminals of the plug. There's one. It doesn't take much. You just want to get a little bit on there. Just so when you start soldering the plug on, it will um, go ahead and join very easily. So, um, so I'm just going to desolder one side of it. So I'll go ahead and desolder the, the positive lead for the Steens plug. There you go. And the plug, after you desolder it, will we'll have a bit of solder on it. So that actually is going to work in your favor. So you don't really need to tin that again. So what I'll do is I will just attach this wire and join these together, making sure that um, I'm hitting the positive side of the, um, the plug here. Just align those two. Get them as close as possible. And what you'll do is, oh, I forgot one important thing. Um, always have your shrink wrap ready and put that on there. Slide that down. Um, and go ahead and match that up. So I have those very close. And what I will do is just take my clean soldering iron, give ooh, a little bit of slag on there. Get that cleaned off. Still pretty ugly. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and uh, tin the, the tip just a bit so I can transfer some heat very quickly. And you want to move fairly quickly because you don't want to melt the plug. And so I'll just go ahead and touch that on there and it should melt and just pop right into place. And maybe give it a touch of solder. Not, I'm not the greatest solder in the world, but um, you want to make sure you get that joint nice and shiny and get a good bead of solder on there. And there we go. Nice solder joint, very shiny. I'll go ahead and detach my wires and slide the shrink wrap up into place. And 
it'll start to melt or start to shrink immediately because of the it's hot already. But I'll just give it a, a torch on here. My torch is not working very well. It's always always a challenge for me. To, And there we go. You have um, the positive lead of the battery uh, connected to the new XT60 plug. And I'll just go ahead and repeat that for the, um, for the negative wire as well. And then I'll have um, XT60 plugs instead of uh, Dean's plug. All right. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.